Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dauntless Clear Gaming. Today with a very special video, well at least special for me. Just three things in the beginning. A. I'm sorry if I look like ship, I'm still ill. I don't know if you can hear that. I don't know if, if the microphone is good enough to catch all that shit. Second, if you see lots of stuff exactly there in the background, I'm sorry, I still haven't unpacked everything from, from Rincon. My suitcase is still there in the back, still completely packed. Um, I just, yeah, uh, I just couldn't. Yesterday I've been sleeping all day, so never mind. Just, you know, don't think I'm like, I like never clean up or anything. Because I do. I will today. I will do later today. Uh, third, I know there's a lot of unboxing videos for the Tomb Raider Collector's Edition out there already. Problem is, here in Germany only came out today. So, I couldn't do that any earlier. Um, however, I have been avoiding watching those unboxing videos like hell. So I was, let's say, mildly surprised when my postman, who was, I mean, he was a new one, and he was really cute and really funny. Uh, so, I was mildly surprised when he gave me this. I mean, like, what the fuck? It says it's 5.1 kilograms. What? What is in this box? Okay, let's do this. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I've been waiting so long for this. The only problem is this, this collector's edition only came out for Xbox One. I don't even own an Xbox One. Um, so... I was really glad when I figured out that they would also release it for the 360 because I have my own 360. So what I'm gonna do is uh, sell the game for the Xbox One on eBay. Only in Germany though. If you're in Germany or if you know someone in Germany who can pass it on, I will put it on eBay. My eBay name is Shalima underscore Fox. Um, I will put it up there for like 50 or 55 euros because honestly I just want to make the money so I can buy the Xbox 360 version. Buy it. Don't do it. Whatever. I hope I, I get rid of this. Oh my god! You know I wondered if, if the collector's edition was actually as huge as the box. Because sometimes you get the stuff. I got like I, I got a really huge package. You know what was in there? A wig and a brain. A plastic brain of course. And it was seriously, it was nine tenth air and nothing else. But seriously, the box is just as huge. Nah, I'm fighting. Okay, it just nearly took me like three minutes to get the box outside the box. So, oh, here it is. That's the top. And that is the side here. I'm glad that here in Germany it is uh, USK 16 because otherwise I wouldn't be able to sell it on eBay. You can't sell. Oh, you can't sell 18 stuff on eBay, which is understandable because laws are really strict here. Concerning the ratings. So, I wish I could do this on my on my lap, so you could see a little bit more. But <laughs> seriously, um, the downside: the packaging is really, really thin. Like it's just you know really wobbly, so you need to be careful not to destroy that. Actually, I think I can do that on my lap, <coughs> or not. Oh my god, there's another box in the box. Seriously, there's another box in the box. I need to put this down again. <laughs> okay, so great. While trying to get the box from the box, uh, whatever. While trying to get this out, I actually ripped this wibbly wobbly, no, just the wobbly box. Yeah, it was really thin. But that looks already much cooler because it actually looks like oh it's reflecting. It actually looks like a box made of wood. 
Reflection, reflection, reflection everywhere. And anything else? Uh, Siberia. So my box came from Siberia. Siberia. Nice. Yeah. What does it say? It says contract number 90 slash 240 destination. Si oh, it's it, destination is Siberia, Russia. Case number 50 slash 303, weight 3 kilograms, dimensions 38 centimeters, 38 centimeters, 43 centimeters. I don't know if that's the actual weight. 3 kilograms? It could be. It could be 3 kilograms. Okay, so that was that box. I try to keep that on my lap again. Okay, so it just took me several minutes to get the black box out of the uh, packaging and then it took me a few more minutes to get the wooden box out of the black box and then it took me a few more minutes to open the wooden box. And guess what? There's another box in there! Okay, that's, that's really cool. Oh my god! There's. I just wanted to show you there's this, this packaging material that looks like straw or something else. But there's actually stuff hidden in there. I thought it was just, you know, random safety packaging, but there's really stuff hidden in there. It's like Easter. Find all the goodies that are in there. So, oh my god, there's, there's, what is that? It's, it's an envelope. That's so cool. I actually pack the stuff in an envelope. Oh no! Do they expect me to break the seal? There? Ah! Oh, I don't want to cut that open! Ah no! I don't know if you can... you can... Oh! Huh. Maybe I opened that the wrong way. Let's just open that like that. What's in there? Ooh, it's the steel book. Oh my gosh, that looks great this way around. No? Yes? Yes. That looks awesome. Looks like... Ah, the reflection sucks, sorry. Looks like marble with a symbol and there's... Uh, since this goes to Russia, I think that... Uh, these are Russian letters. And there's this engraving around the steel book and the symbol in the middle. That looks really nice. Oh, and here on the inside it says Rise of the Tomb Raider, because that's the game. That looks really nice. I love steel books. So that goes back inside the envelope. Oh, I, I think I found the game. One hundred percent uncut. I'm. I have no experience with how to show things properly. One hundred percent uncut. Use key sixteen. Rise of the Tomb Raider for the Xbox One. Yeah. Okay. Survive at all costs. D discover forgotten graves or something like that. Entdecke vergessene Gräber. Da da da. I'm so excited! Oh man, I want to play this like today, but I can't because I can't. I don't have an Xbox One. And actually, I wanted to go and buy the game for the 360 today, but actually, I don't want to leave the house with my cold and risking getting sicker again. So I think I want everything here. No, as far as I know, we're... Uh, oh, I don't know what I want to look for first. I know there's supposed to be the necklace in there. Necklace, necklace, where are you? Sorry! Ah, I found it! Oh my god, this is so cool that you have to look for that. 
You know I love necklaces, so that's the necklace. Oh, this is like Christmas. It comes in a little brown pouch. Oh, uh, and oh, uh, actually, seriously, the leather, the leather is really, the necklace is really cool. But that's just really cheap plastic. Really cheap green plastic. Yeah. Actually, I'm not so thrilled about that. Hmm. Okay. Doesn't look like very high quality product. But the pouch is cool. So let's pack that up again. Put it over here. Oh, it's warm. So we have another envelope with the same opening system. Uh, again, I don't want to break the seal. Um, ah, ah, oh, that actually that's really easy, I think. We have this little Hello, can you focus on that? Yeah, thank you. You have this little thing here sticking out and you can just unwrap it basically like that. Oh my gosh! It's her journal! Sisters of Artemis. Focus on that. Focus on that. It says Sisters of Artemis down there. <gasps> and on the back it says Tomb Raider Square Enix. There. This leather is... Oh my gosh! Sorry, I have to smell that. Oh, it's so soft. It's really great. So, my... I think it was my friend and me and I. We've been wondering if it was just a notebook you can write on. So with blank pages. Or if it was like... Uh, already filled with her notes. So let's check this out. Ah, it's blank pages. Okay. But still really cool. I I love those notebooks. With the with the leather covering. And the pages look really I mean they look kind of old and used and really ancient kind of. Oh, oh I love that notebook as the pages feel really good, the leather feels really good, so I'm, ah, uh, this is probably my, my favorite item. Except for the game, I mean not that game, because I can't use it, because I don't own an Xbox 3, uh, Xbox One, but the game in general, of course. And now! The main piece. Just gonna quick check if there's. Nope, I don't. Nope, I don't think there's anything else in there. So the statue comes in another box, a white one this time, again with the logo on there. Actually, that's my first real proper statue. I do have one of. A uh, Gary's Vicarian. That's like, a, yeah, about that size in the action figure. Because everything else is so fucking ridiculously expensive. But I ordered uh, the Mass Effect loot crate that will be out next month already. So you will see another unboxing video then. And I hope there's a lot of Gary's shit in there. I hope there's no Miranda shit in there because I don't like Miranda. Mainly because it's Ivan Strahovski. So, it's... oh my gosh. Uh, it's very well packed. So this this collector's edition is like these Russian... Russian! Ha! Ha! Uh, what are they called? Like Matryoshka dolls? I don't know. I think they're Matryoshka Pupin. So I don't know if you call them Matryoshka dolls. You know those... Uh, wooden dolls you can open and there's a smaller doll in there that you can open and there's a smaller doll in there again. So this uh, box which 
uh, ironically goes to Russia or is supposed to go to Russia is like a Russian Matryoshka doll and that is the packaging inside the packaging inside the packaging is this this is so inception it's a packaging inside a packaging inside a packaging <laughs> Look at that! Focus on her. Focus on her. Hello. No. So that is the statue with so much detail. Like you have the glow stick. You have this. Was it a pickaxe? Climbing axe? Whatever. And you have the bow and arrows and. Is that no? She has another bag and a gun and a row and oh god more bags and a knife I think. Oh my gosh. This looks really great. Her face might not be that accurate but honestly oh my gosh the Bow string is actually a little, a little wire thingy. Holy shit! I couldn't be any. Ha yes, I could be happier if this game contained an Xbox 360. Uh, if this collector's edition contained an Xbox 360 game, or even better, a fucking PS4 game. <laughs> but seriously, I didn't want to wait another year. And uh, I see. I, I totally wanted this this collector's edition, and there was no word whether there would be one for the PS4 next year. So I'm just gonna do with the 360 version for now. Maybe I will buy that again for the PS4. I've done that before. Um, I'm not an Xbox hater. I'm not. I'm also not a PC hater particularly since I play PC games now as well it's just I grew up with the PlayStation 1 yeah I grew up with the PlayStation 1 and then a 2 and for d decades for 20 years or so no uh, maybe maybe not maybe 15 years I bought the 360 when I was f several years ago. So for so many years I had this this PlayStation controller in my hand and um I just I just know where the buttons are and then I bought a 360 mainly because mainly because of the 360 exclusive games and I never got used to the controls. I never, and that's one of the few reasons why I then came back to PlayStation, and I'm happy with that. And I do not intend to buy an Xbox One. De uh, I might if there's like this one game that's completely exclusive for the Xbox One that I desperately want to play, but so far that hasn't happened. So I'm happy with my PS4 and as long as games still come out for the 360 there's absolutely no reason to buy an Xbox One for me. But like I said, no hate. I only hate people who are completely and utterly uh, hating on people because they play on a different system. Like. No, I, I don't I don't want to break out in, in a in a game war or console war debate. Just you know, we're all gamers. Love and peace and happiness. And Lara Croft. Um yeah, except for the necklace, I'm really, really, really happy with this collector's edition. The necklace is is indeed a bit cheap. But still um, I, I love everything. I love the complete edition and I'm glad that I bought it. And I hope that I feel better soon that I can go and buy the 360 version and fucking play the game. I'm so excited, I just want to play the game. Maybe, oh maybe there's a demo out there. 
I doubt it, but I'll go and look for a demo and maybe I will... No, maybe, may not maybe. If there is a demo, I will definitely play it. So... Uh, anyway, uh, next week, by the latest, you will see me playing this game. And I'm so excited because I love the last one so much. So, yeah, that was that for now. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!